Hello there, friends. I'm so very excited to share this exciting Saturday Night Live with Elise edition of Prepare for Your Holidays with Ease and get that silver ready in a jiffy. So, how are you? Go ahead and say hi. I, got, I don't have the best um, camera set up here for you, but you're going to love this idea. I'm sure of it. So who has some silver that is kind of nasty looking? I've got, whoops, there we are. Okay. Do you have any silver that's nasty looking that you need to get polished up, but you don't like spending the time sitting there polishing it with that cloth and that nasty um, polishing cream? Hey guys. Hi, Carrie, Kim. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hopping on. Click the share button. I know people are going to love this idea and I'm not sure if you've ever heard of it. Have you? You take your silver, you place it in a pan. I'm going to show you everything. Okay. Um, I just brought a tea kettle to boil and then I put my silver that's all tarnished. You know, it's got the dark coloring now. I place it in a glass pan. And this is even easier than the toothpaste, Tanya. Just you watch. I place it in the glass pan with tin foil. Do you see this? It's all lined up. I sprinkled it with salt. And now I'm going to let the magic happen. Yes, Carrie knows. You may have seen me do this before. This is the only way that I polish our silver. And um, I'll add that I found this amazing set of silver real silverware at an antique store for like $50, a complete, amazing, gorgeous, beautiful set. And it was literally black with tarnish when I got it. So hard it up. <laughs> Let me grab my secret ingredient. I'll be right back. Here we are. I've got baking soda and I've got water boiling on the stove. Are you guys excited to see this? Hey, Will, I'm getting the silver ready for Thanksgiving. You'll be enjoying this. And then I do add one drop of, I'm gonna try this, I've never done it before, but why not? This is the doTERRA grapefruit oil. I like the smell, so I'm gonna add a drop of that to the pan as well. <laughs> so here we go. I'm adding the boiling water. I pour it over the silver. Um, I guess you guys probably want to see this, but you know I'm not so coordinated, so let me try. Okay, you ready? There, yeah, now you can see. So, boiling water going over the silverware. I know it's highly entertaining for your Saturday night, but if you have nothing else to do, why not enjoy Saturday Night Live with Elise? <laughs> now I take my baking soda and I look at this. This one isn't quite covered, so I'm going to just do this. Do you see that? When you see that you're getting the oxidation happening and the tarnish is disappearing, and the cool thing, you guys, is the t this um, baking soda works with the tin foil, and then, of course, the salt increases the conductivity of it all, I guess. I don't know the details specifically, but notice already the change in the color. You guys, you're going to love this. The unfortunate thing is my boiling water is all gone. And you have to have the boiling water for the effect strongest effect. But the problem is my boiling water takes some time. So I'm going to be filling this up right now as that takes a couple minutes to really get going. You can hear that hot stove behind the camera. What do you guys think? Can you see a difference yet? Anyone enjoying how quick and easy this is? Go ahead and share your comments or heart it up or sh click share or whatever you guys do out there. And I'm going to pick up one of my, here we are. I'll pick up one to show you the results. How about that? All right, are you ready? It's really quite magical. Let me set it on the counter for a second because it's super hot. I'm gonna get a good hold on it. Uh, maybe I'll get a paper towel from back here. All right, is it too hot for me? All right, do you guys see this? Can you see the difference? Whoops, there you are. It really is silvery, shiny. Remember, the tip of this was not underwater. So do you see it still has the tarnish there? And, um, but the rest of it, look how shiny it is in the light. <laughs> you guys going to do this too? Um, if you don't have any silver, 
I would get some. You could get it at, I mean, I mean, maybe you don't want any. That's okay, too. But I love silver because I love these nice things. Um, and I love antiques. And so I bought this silver set in an antique store. And there it is. Now all it needs to be is a quick um, dunk in some soapy water in the sink. And these are ready to serve for Thanksgiving dinner. Beautifully shiny silver. I got this amazing set of complete set of silver at an antique store for 50 bucks and I know people give their silver away because they hate polishing it and this is just a trick that you can use to easily easily look at the tip of that one it's still black do you see that that you can easily use to polish your silver I would be careful if it's a silver coated what do they call that you guys when it's silver but it's not solid silver what's that called you guys know. I can't think of it. Um, what's the word, you all? Silver, no, I wanna say silver lining, but that's not the right word. <laughs> what's it called when it's silver, but it's not solid silver? Silver coated? No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, anyway, whatever. Um, let me show you, okay, let me get this rinse. Plated, thank you, Charlene. Jeez, what is wrong with me? I couldn't think of it at all. Um, yeah, that doesn't work as well with a silver plated, so be careful with that. But you, and then you will refresh, you'll need to refresh your tin foil and your um, baking soda and you'll need boiling water. Here we are. You'll need boiling water every time you decide to do another batch. So I have another batch going. Um, here in my drawer, I have, you know, my drawer is divided by each type of silverware. And then when it's time for me to go do the next batch, I would just take all the knives or all the spoons or whatever. Um, and that's how we get them all polished. And ours don't look too bad, actually, because I do this maybe every six months. Um, the fork doesn't look great. Do you see how dark colored that is? And we use real silver all, for all of our meals. Uh, we use all of our nice plates for all of our meals. I say, why, why save it? What's the point? And so that's why this trick is so amazing because it keeps it all super beautiful and shiny. And this is a very old set. I think it's probably at least 100 years old. And for those of you who just joined, it's from the antique store. I got it for 50 bucks. Anyway, you can see the difference. I wonder if you can see the difference. Here, let me show you. Okay, the lighting is a little bad, but see this one has a very dark gray color to it. It hasn't been, I haven't done the treatment to it yet. And then this one is a really nice, beautiful, shiny silver. So just thought, just thought you all would enjoy seeing how to polish silver if you want some shiny silver and you don't want to spend a bunch of time doing it because the holidays are right around the corner and I want you to use your best silver because if you've got it, why not use it? <laughs> and then if you um, haven't enjoyed polishing it in the past, now you know a trick. So did you like that? Is anyone still there? <laughs> I hear the water about ready to boil, so I'm going to do another batch. And um, Rob, I just hopped on and did this real quick because Rob and I have a date night tonight. And um, he said, i got to take a shower. And I said, great, I'm going to polish the silver <laughs> while I wait. And then I thought, oh my gosh, I bet my friends on Facebook will love this trick. So do, do you guys love it? Yay, somebody's giving me hearts. Awesome. Well, go ahead. Um, I will put the complete... Uh, directions for you in the description of this video if you want to share it go for it uh, if you want to try it and let me know if it works come back and comment below and I hope that you all have enjoyed the fast and easy tip for polishing your silver in a very fast and carefree way okay thanks you guys love ya bye bye